Hey everybody, it's summer time, uh, about to be on the trail, uh, still preparing for the Eastern Continental Trail coming up. And since I've been spending so much of my time uh, for the past few months preparing for this hike, I figured I'd give you a rundown of how I go about planning out a through hike. Um, this is the first one I've done of this massive, massive distance, so I'm just kind of taking the formula I used for my other hikes and applying it here, and it seems to be working though it is a ton of work. Um, I do want to preface all this with saying that I am a control freak and a very compulsive planner and pretty anal retentive about uh, you know writing every mile down and every place I'm going to be passing. So this is definitely overkill, but it gives me at least a false sense of security and control uh, about taking on an endeavor like this. Um, so it's definitely going to be way too much planning and hands-on stuff for a lot of people, but this is how I like to do it and I enjoy it. I don't really feel like it's work. It's a lot of fun when I do it. Um, so uh, even if you don't end up using uh, this method, maybe some things I do can kind of help you break down um, your plans and be able to at least see how much time you're going to be on the trail and how much money you might need to save up in order to get out there. So um, let's check out my crazy planning uh, method. Okay, so I always start with a paper calendar because I like to get my hands on it and be able to write in pencil and erase stuff off of it. The changes, and speaking of changes, all these dates are completely not accurate. Um, things have moved around a lot since I started planning, but this kind of gives you the original rough draft. So when I start a hike, I will pick a date that I think will work with a weather window I'm trying to aim for, and I'll also kind of pick an average miles that I want to hike per day. So I usually start around 20 and that can increase or decrease depending on conditions and trail legs. But I will reference a guide and I'll go from say the start of the trail and say alright what, what campsite's 20 miles from there. And there's usually not one right at 20 miles so I'll usually round up to the next available campsite. But if I'm feeling tired or the terrain is rough around there I can round down and stop a little earlier too. Um, so let's say that's the beginning of the trail, do a little hiking. The next morning I wake up at mile 13.42. Then I will hike 22.37 miles to get to mile 35.79. And that's the refuge I'll be staying at that night. The next morning I wake up at 35.79. Hike 18.2 miles to get to mile 53.99 and let's shoot shelter. I wake up at 53.99 and this continues every day for the entire length of the trail. Um, these are resupplies that I'll ship myself and I'm shipping myself as I told you guys before um, all the food for this entire trail. I'll supplement on the way but I'll at least have a base number of calories per day that I'm shipping myself. So every resupply, this is number 17, this is the Country View Motel, that's their address, that's their phone number. I'll have six days worth of food in it. The pickup itself is at mile 12.82.4. That's 1282.4. Um, um, and that is, you know, in the middle of the day because it's in between the two places where I wake up and when I sleep. Uh, the green check means I have confirmed with the receiver that they will hold my package for me. And it just goes on and on. There's number 19, six days. This one happens to be 0.4 miles east of the trail. But most of these are right on the trail. Uh, I think the furthest I have to go is like four or five miles off trail one day. Um, I'll also leave little notes about I'm getting off the Appalachian Trail and onto the Bent McKay Trail, getting off the Bent McKay onto the Pinhoti changing from Alabama or Georgia to Alabama pin hoodie. If there's no campsites listed at the mileage I'm looking at that day, it'll just be marked woods, question mark, or a town that's nearby. And I'll just guesstimate about how many miles and then total them up. Um, I also have a running mileage for my grand total personal from Canada to this point. And then, I'll, and then at the same time, I'll have a mileage for the specific trail that I'm on. So 170 miles into the Pinhoti Trail in Georgia, I will have hiked 3,256.26 miles to get there from Canada. Um, this is the Appalachian Trail mile total versus my personal total. And that goes on and on.
continuing and now got a Florida trail running total and my personal total at 4,600 miles. Uh, resupply number 35, on and on. So, uh, and then to the end, like I said, these dates have all been changed. So this is only in December. It's pushing back towards January. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much my rough draft. Yeah, so there it is. Um, took me quite a while to get that all transcribed onto the calendar and the plan situated, and then even longer to type it all into a Google Calendar. But having it on your phone is awesome, um, and a lot of permits, and uh, even trail guides and stuff, I will um, make PDFs of or download PDFs of and send to my phone, and I'll reference everything off of the phone. Um, you can also take pictures of your paper guide if you don't have a way to download it and um, just use the, the pictures on your phone of the guide. Um, also, if you're running any kind of uh, navigation service, like the Appalachian Trail has a, an, an app that you can follow the trail on, it's always best to run your phone in airplane mode. Your GPS will still work, uh, but it won't drain your battery so bad. Um, so, any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'd be happy to tell you about you know, how anal I can be with planning and how that plan falls apart almost immediately. Um, but it's fun to see when I like hop back on track or how many days ahead I am or, or anything like that. So right now my trail uh, plan, I'm going to be on the ECT for 208 days, but that has no zero days planned. And zero days are, you know, when you get tired, and just don't feel like doing a darn thing or you feel like hanging out in town at the local brewery or something. So there'll be plenty of rest days where I'm not traveling at all. So Definitely going to take more than 208 days, but that's how much I have planned right now. And uh, we'll just see how that lines up. It's always fun to see uh, how different everything ends up after all your planning anyway. So hope you guys enjoyed that. More videos to come.